one of the things that we really didn't get into in unit six, at least in some detail, is phosphorus fertilizer management. And how do we manage phosphorus, knowing that phosphorus in soils loves to be loved? So how do we manage this to reduce the loving nature of phosphorus in soils? Well, there's certain ways we can do this, okay? And one of those ways is depicted in this picture. And this is called banding or band applying phosphorus. And you can do this with other fertilizers as well, okay? The concept is rather simple, that when, wherever we plant the seed, in terms of the phosphorus fertilizer, we apply the phosphorus fertilizer in a band two inches over and two inches down from the seed. It's a concentrated band that if this was 3D, it would come out of the screen towards you and a, behind the screen away from you. All right, the band is concentrated to decrease the contact between the fertilizer itself and the soil. So phosphorus remains in the soluble phase for a longer period of time and has a lower likelihood initially to be loved by aluminum, iron, or calcium phases, mineral phases in the soil. So that's one option, and this is often used, especially with starter fertilizers of phosphorus, two inches down and two inches over. So you don't place it with the seed to risk any type of damage to the seed or seedling, but the, the roots will find that phosphorus fertilizer eventually. Another means by which we can manage phosphorus is simply increase the soil test phosphorus levels. And when we do this, the places where phosphorus loves to be loved in soils diminishes because most of those places are being loved by phosphorus already, okay? So when we increase soil test phosphorus levels, that simply decreases the affinity of the soil for phosphorus. This greatly reduces the management or simplifies management in terms of phosphorus. But the main issue with this is it increases um, environmental, potential environmental degradation in terms of offsite movement. If there's no place for phosphorus to be loved in a soil, where is it going to go? It's going to either go downward until it finds a place to be loved, or if you have a rain event and soluble P is moving, it's, it's going to move with a runoff from a field. You could also manipulate soil pH, right? You could simply change the pH to change the um, solubility of phosphorus minerals present. And guess what? We do this when we lime acid soils. We manipulate pH to somewhere between maybe 6.2 6 to 6.8 to increase, among other nutrients, phosphorus availability. So the most common way to improve or manage phosphorus and improve its availability is banding or band applying. And banding phosphorus decreases the contact between the phosphorus fertilizer and the soil, and thus it increases phosphorus availability to the plant. Banding is often most useful on soils with very low soil test P values. And this is because at low test P values, there are a lot of places in the soil for phosphorus to be loved. Aluminum, aluminum and iron and potentially calcium mineral phases will gobble up and hold on to with either one or two hands, like the um, analogy I gave of the monkey bars at the, the playground. This will happen at low soil test P values. And so when we band apply phosphorus in systems that have low test P, that phosphorus remains in solution to a greater extent over a greater period of time than if you broadcast and either left it on the soil surface or fully incorporated. In fact, what has been shown that is that banding can actually um, decrease the amount of phosphorus fertilizer by 50% over broadcast. So you can get the same results with broadcasting, but oftentimes you need to double the application rate. And I don't know if this is explicitly stated in the tri-state fertilizer recommendations, but where I used to live, and teach in Colorado and in, in the Western US, this was prevalent. 
So this table that you see down here is for dryland corn. And it, let's just focus on this one column here. Actually, let's focus way over here on the right hand side. It doesn't matter what the test results are, but if you look at the far right hand side, these last two columns, the fertilizer rate in pounds of P2O5 per acre for banding versus broadcasting any type of fertilizer. Banding is always twice as low or less than broadcast simply because of the fact that when you band apply phosphorus fertilizers, there's less of a likelihood for phosphorus to be loved, in this case by calcium or calcium carbonate and conversion to calcium phosphates. But the same approach would be true in soils that are acidic, that contain aluminum and iron mineral phases that would also love phosphorus. And this brings us to the end of unit six.